What's happening people? We're back in the kitchen again. Bumble don't want to be on camera. We've got a new product today. Um, although it doesn't seem new on the pack. I've just looked there, bringing it out of the freezer. <clears throat> it was in the new and trending section of the website, Iceland website. And it is from the Cathedral City range. And it's these bad boys. Cheesy potato croquets. Now, I remember having potato croquets as a kid and giving them Dino's daughter um, when she was smaller. I mean, we still we still get them now. Sometimes we replace, you know, chips or potato waffles or something like that. Sometimes you have uh, alphabet bites. Whatever's on offer, basically, I'm a bit of a tight get. Whatever's on offer, that's what we get, potato-based product. But, never seen these, and, but I don't like cheese and mash and breadcrumbs, so I'm going to like it, aren't I? So this is what we're doing today. So I'm going to get a few of these in the um, Kasori. And this is basically my breakfast. It's about half ten in the morning. So this is our cheesy potato croquets with cheddar cheese and coated in golden breadcrumbs. 500 grams there is. So. Let's have a look at the back of this uh, bag. Let's start with the ingredients. 50% potato, 21% cheddar cheese. 8% breadcrumbs. You've got milk as the allergen. It does say it serves four people on nutritional information, which is there. Obviously very carb heavy. And a bit of information there. It says seasoned mashed potato with Cathedral City cheddar cheese coated in golden breadcrumbs. 500 grams. And the ways to cook are oven from frozen or air fry from frozen. 11 to 12 minutes in the air fryer based on half a pack. So that's what we'll do, probably. That's what's over here. It's a little bit of information about Cathedral City as well. We've been crafting our award-winning cheddar for all, over 50 years. Made in Cornwall with milk from our dedicated West Country farms. We're proud to be the nation's favourite. That, it says don't recycle there, which is a, a bad sign, right? And that is that. So... Serving suggestion with some sort of parsley leaf, but we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to eat them. It does look good though, really. So, let's get into them. So, they're pretty decent size. So, how many do you get? We're going to have one, two, three, four. We'll put six in. Two, four, six, seven. So you get 13 in the pack. 13 in the pack there. Now, price-wise, these was, I don't know, I'm going to check. I think they're in the three for ten pound. I think everything's in the three for ten pound. So, I'll get this Kasori on, get them cooking, and I'll come back when I know the price. <laughs> So I've actually just checked what price I paid for these and they're four pound a bag. They are in the three for three, three for ten pounds, so you can get them for three pound thirty-three. If you buy this on its own, it's gonna be set you back four quid. Four pound for 13 cheesy potato croquets. That's just over 30 pence per croquet. Now I I'm reluctant to say I think it's expensive because I get slated in the comments every time I say I think something's expensive. But in my opinion, and which is what I'm giving, it's expensive. Um, 30 odd pence for one potato croquet. I'm sure you can get, or you used to be able to get bags of like the home brand potato croquets for a quid. And you probably get about the same amount in there. Now, I know they've added the cheese and it's a Cathedral City product, but you're just paying for the branding, aren't you? And a cheese does make everything better, but does it make it twice as good? I'm not sure. We'll see anyway. Nine minutes left, and then we'll taste. So these are done, and in true fashion, they've uh, exploded. So I'm going to get them into this. Uh, get them into this here, and give you guys a closer look at them, and then we'll have a taste. So, they look pretty alright, they smell unbelievable, I'll be honest. 
breakfast time, innit? So you got to brew. Right. This camera's not great at um, focusing when I do this. See? So, take a closer look at this. So as you can see there, that really does look... It looks a bit wet, but you can... Oh man, you can really smell that cheddar in there. This is not going to be just a tiny bit of cheese in there. It smells unbelievably cheesy. It is very, very cheesy, that. Wow. That breadcrumb's nice. <clears throat> I do think that these sort of products are miles better done in the air fryer. They just give them that crisp. I mean, really nice. Nice, fat, but soft as oat inside. Cheesy. Really, really tasty. Now, it's a question of budget, isn't it? If this, if this was going on taste alone as a potato or a cheesy potato croquet, I'd be giving it a 10 out of 10 because it's absolutely delicious. The problem is it's blooming expensive. Now, I know you guys hate it when I go on about the price, but that is an issue for half, more than half of the country, more than half of the world, more, for everybody. I mean, I was watching an Tyson Fury documentary last night and he's uh, shopping in Lidl or something. He says, I'm not buying Kit Kats for a pound, for three fifty when the when the same ones are up for a pound in a different supermarket. Don't matter how much money you've got, you don't want to waste it. And I think I would just get normal potato croquets over these just because they're going to be half the price. If they got them in an offer, so I might get them for a couple of quid, then maybe. But you only get thirteen in a bag. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, or just all call me a tight git like you were, uh, like you do anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review.